I have a whole bunch of eye products that I'm gonna be going through today and I'm gonna be separating them all by categories. The first category that I'm gonna be starting with is concealers. So these are all of my beautiful concealers. I love concealers. I don't know if you guys can tell. So off the bat, first two I'm gonna pick up are the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I have the shade Cream Puff and I have Swan. This concealer was literally like all the rage for so many years. This was such a popular concealer and still really is. It's a great concealer, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, it does have really good coverage. I'll definitely give it that. But the only thing I will say is that still for me, it's just a little too drying. The best way, um, the best description that I can give this concealer is that it is just like tart shape tape but a little less drying. But still, for someone like me that's very dry, this still is pretty dry, but I do enjoy using it, and I feel like it is a good product to have in your collection, especially if you are like a makeup artist. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, Swan is way too light for me, so I'm actually probably just gonna, you know, give this one to somebody else. It just looks too light, like scary light. Um, but Cream Puff is definitely a, a better shade, but I would still like to get something darker in the future. Uh, the next one I'm gonna pick up is the Benefit Boing Concealer. I mean, the packaging is absolutely adorable, right? Like, it's like a little eraser. Um, it looks like a little pencil. It's super cute, but honestly, I'm whatever about this concealer. Um, I definitely need to give it more love and use it more, but from the times that I have used it, I'm honestly just not that impressed. Like, it's okay coverage. I feel like it doesn't really last that long, and it kind of creases on me, but I do got to give it more of a try. Um, I am going to be doing a video very soon for you guys on the best and worst concealers, where I'm going to try majority of all my concealers on my eyes and show you guys in detail and in depth how these concealers really work and if they will be worth your time so definitely give a comment down below if you would like to see that video but this one i'm gonna hold on uh for the video i'm gonna do and i just give it need to give it a little more testing then i have the kat von d this one has some like uh makeup on it sorry about that and this is the locket concealer this one i'm definitely gonna declutter uh well first of all this color is very light on me um i feel like over the years i've gotten like a little bit like darker even though i don't really don't go out in the sun but my skin has just i don't know or maybe i don't prefer the super bright look anymore but this this one is just uh it's like really freaking cakey like that's my only complaint like it's cool that it has such good coverage but man like it just doesn't look good it gets so drying that's the same complaint i have about her locket uh foundation it just gets so so cakey so this one i'm, I'm gonna let go then i have the makeup forever full cover man this does like wonders it does magic like this will cover everything it will cover your lies your fake personality like everything legit everything this is an amazing concealer um i actually used to use this back in the day as a foundation and i had some like flawless coverage um the only thing i will say is i'm gonna let this one go just because it is kind of getting really old but i would definitely repurchase it's a really good concealer like it covers so well but I think it is better for the face. Like if you have like blemishes and stuff like that, cause I feel like under the eyes, it's a little bit like too much. So uh, with that being said, I am gonna declutter this one. It's just too old. Then I got two of the Giorgio Armani uh, concealers. I actually really, really like these. I think these are really nice concealers. They have a very good coverage on them. Um, they really don't crease that much on me at all. And I would say they have like a medium to full coverage. Like you could definitely build it. And I have two different colors. So I have the color three and I have the color 6.5. I obviously got these both <laughs> as gratis, which was really, really cool when I worked at Sephora. So I'm gonna keep both of them because I think this one I can kind of use to like contour a little bit. And this one is a good shade for me. I really like this concealer. Then I have, you know, one of the Holy Grails, um, at least the YouTube Holy Grails. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm like so whatever about this. I am in the shade Fair. Sorry about that. I needed to check it. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It is very like full coverage. It really does remind me of like the Too Faced Born This Way or that one reminds me of this one, but it is very drying. Like I think if you have oily skin or just normal skin, you will enjoy this concealer 
but for me somebody that's so dry I don't know I just feel like it gets like in my lines and it gets very cakey looking very quick like I gotta put eye cream I gotta be kind of sparingly with it like I can't be putting on those huge amounts that you see people putting on the internet with um, but this one I'm gonna hold on to just because I want to do the comparison video but usually but probably after I do the video I am gonna let this go also this color is just a little bit too fair for me so for now I will keep then I have the makeup forever HD uh, ultra HD concealer oh my god I don't know me and makeup forever we have a thing going on like we have a long-term committed relationship going on these concealers are so freaking good I would have to say at the moment these are like my holy grail best concealers I just feel like it it has really good coverage it doesn't really get into my fine lines and it lasts a really long time I just love it and also too I feel like it has good coverage but it's skin like that's what I love about so much of their products that it doesn't look like oh my god like total cake face it just looks natural but you have that coverage um, I have it in two shades I have it in the shade 12 and 21 21 is definitely like my shade 12 is just a little bit light for me but I'm gonna keep them both just because I love these concealers so so much then I have the Tarte uh, Creaseless Concealer. Man, this, this name is just ironic. Like, no hate to Tarte, but this is like creases like crazy. I mean, overall, it's an okay foundation. What I like about it is that it legit gives you like glowy under eyes. Like, it's very, very dewy, which is interesting for a concealer, but I feel like it's super thick that you know it's just gonna crease because of the consistency and it's just very thick but I mean I like it overall I honestly gotta test it more but from the times I have used it those were my impressions so for now I'll keep it but it's on the chopping block <laughs> then I have uh, my two YSL babies the products that make me feel bougie and I love so much um, this is the YSL Touche Collat and this is the YSL high cover I love both of these are these necessary absolutely not can you live without them of course but if you got the money should you buy them of course uh, I love the high cover I think this is a great concealer if you really don't have um, very bad dark circles like you're let's say you're more of like a like a teenage girl or even if you know you are mature skin and you're trying to find a product that does not really get into any lines and looks very dewy and fresh this is definitely the product for you but it is like light coverage it's like light to maybe like starting medium like you can really build it and it won't get cakey but you won't really get that coverage but honestly I love it I mean sometimes my eye circles are not that bad so this can definitely pass I just love the texture it gives you a really youthful beautiful look and then the Touche Claw is more of just like a topper if you want to kind of brighten a certain area or a give a little bit of like a healthy kind of glow. This is a really good product for that. My only complaint is that like the applicator, like you have to click the bottom and always too much product comes out and I feel like it gets wasted. That's my only complaint for how expensive it is. But other than that, I love them. Then I have the CoverGirl concealers. Um, this I think I have only used once. I really don't even remember how I felt. I had bought two because one was already open from the store and I was just too dang lazy to try and like return it. You know, that that's my bad, that's my bad. Um, but I gotta use these more to really give more of an opinion on it. Then I have two of the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Concealers. This one is the, the Peach Corrector and this one is the Concealer. The Peach Corrector is actually really, really awesome. I have one, I gave one to my mom and I have one too. It's really, really good if you do want to cover like those purpley um, type of dark circles or if you have kind of like melasma. It doesn't completely cover, but it's a good start. It's a great um, corrector and then the concealer honestly I have not used it enough to really give a good opinion so I'm definitely gonna hold on to it then I have the NARS um, sh uh, what is this the NARS radiant creamy concealer honestly <sighs> I, you know, I feel sad saying this, but I hate this concealer. Like, I'm starting to hate it with a passion. I, and this is no offense to NARS. I love NARS. I think it's an amazing company with really awesome products. But this is just like, I don't know. I feel like if you have fine lines, if you have like any wrinkles, 
this is just not the product that you're gonna love um this used to be my ride or die when i was in my early 20s my late teens like honestly like i loved it and i thought it was amazing but now that i'm 28 years old and you know i have a kid i have dark circles um, you know, I have a lot more lines. This just does nothing for me and I feel like it makes my under eyes look worse. It just gets so creasy and it doesn't cover, you know, the the bags that I need to cover. It doesn't help me catfish. So, um, yeah, so this one, I'm just gonna hold on to it purely for the fact for the concealer video so I can kind of demonstrate it for you guys. But after that, it is sadly going to go. Then I have this really old CoverGirl concealer. This is so old. Honestly, there's way better things than this. Um, this is just like, oh my God, I think like high school days is that old. So I'm just, this is going in the trash. Then I have the L'Oreal Pro Glow concealer. I think I only used it once, so I really don't remember how I felt about it. So I'm gonna hold on to it for that. Um, I have the cover effects concealer. I'm gonna hold on to this one I haven't used it in a really long time, but I remember really liking it when I did use it So I gotta I gotta get back into that Then I have the rare beauty concealer um, Again, I only really used it when I did my video for rare beauty and I kind of forgot about it So I need to give it more love and then we got the Smashbox Studio Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. Um, this is a pretty nice concealer. I would say it's like medium to full coverage. It's not very drying. Um, it's not the best ever, but it's not the worst ever. I think it is a good one overall. Um, I just, I don't know, it's not my holy grail, but it's a good one. If you're going in the store and you wanna pick one, I would definitely, you know, this would be one of the ones that I recommend. Um, I have the uh, the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. I got this because Tati said this was like amazing. Um, honestly, I, I don't like it at all. I, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. I don't really remember why, because I haven't used it in a while, but I remember like hating it when I used it. I just feel like it didn't look good on me. It didn't really like flatter my under eyes, so this one's gonna go. Again, another one that's not really like flattering towards me and I don't really like is the CoverGirl Olay one. So this one is going to be going. Uh, I don't like this one either. I love Milani, but this one I just do not like. It just doesn't really cover enough and it just like creases too much. So this one is going. Some of these guys are just going straight to the trash because they're so old. And then I have the IT uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This one is very thick, but I feel like it does have good coverage. I just haven't used it enough. I need to give it a little bit more love so I can have a real legitimate opinion about it. And then the last two, this makes me sad to like give these up. This is the Grande Lash. This is the serum that it helps you grow like eyelashes, eyebrows, all that good stuff. You wanna grow hair on your face, but in the right places, this is the place to go. But sadly, like this has just, um, it irritates my eyes and that makes me like really really sad because it works like my mom loves it She uses it. It works like amazing on her. I'm just gonna give these two to her because um, It works so well for her, but this legit works if if you aren't allergic to it I would still buy this. It's really worth it. Like it really does grow your lashes. Like it's not a joke It's not a scam Okay, so next category up is eyeliner liquid eyeliners and pencil eyeliners and just looking at this I have way too many eyeliners. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a few ones right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Pencils. I think these are all of them. So this was the first eyeliner pencil that I was just absolutely like obsessed with. I love these eyeliners. I think they're awesome. But I will say I love the colorful ones. The black eyeliner, um, zero, it's just not black enough for me. And perversion, it's definitely black enough, but it is way too smudgy for me. But these colorful ones are absolutely like the best. The pigment is absolutely amazing. Um, what's really cool about these is they just stay so vibrant throughout the day. They do kind of smudge, but nothing to like a crazy extent. I don't know why the colorful ones, they don't smudge as much as, um, as much as the black one for some reason on me. And if you can just kind of like run them uh, under your lash line and get it caught on the lashes, it looks so pretty. So I have the color Chaos, I have Woodstock, I have Deep End, I have 
electric and I have bourbon. I'm definitely gonna be holding on to all of these guys. I love them so much and will be continuing to use them. Then I'm gonna be taking out all my ColourPop babies. Uh, honestly, ColourPop makes such amazing eyeliners. Like seriously, these, honestly, I think they're better than the Urban Decay ones. They're literally like half the price. I think that's all of them. They're literally like half the price. You can get them in a, like a jumbo pack, which is what I got. Like ColourPop's always having sales on their website, so definitely pay attention to that and go to like the vault section and get the eyeliners. It's so, so worth it. That's basically what I did here. Um, I'm gonna just swatch this one for you because these are like absolutely like amazing. I mean, I'm putting no pressure like at all. Like I could start drawing a picture on like my hand. That's literally how pigmented these guys are. They're so bright. They're so like amazing, chock full of color. Like I'm really impressed by them. Super cheap price and they just glide on so, like that is absolutely gorgeous. You just, you can't, like for the price and the product, it's absolutely amazing. I really recommend these to you guys. Get them. <laughs> just don't even think about them. Just get them. Um, they last a long time. So colorful. Not getting rid of any of these. Um, next one. Let me grab. I think I'm just going to kind of go at random now. So I have this Maybelline uh, Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't even used this yet. Um, this is funny. This just showed up at my house from Amazon. My fiance was like, I think it was in the cart and it just got added. So I definitely have to try this. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. This is a really good eyeliner. It has that nice, like super thin felt tip to it. Um, I'm trying to use this up at the moment. So this has been the eyeliner that I've been using for like the past month or so. And honestly, I really love it. I think it's really good. It just, it does last a long time. It's easy to apply. Um, it's easy to take off and it doesn't smudge at me at all. But I definitely do think you can get this eyeliner, this type of eyeliner, way cheaper at the drugstore. And you know, you could just save your money on that. Then I have these two uh, Lottie London. These are actually stamp eyeliners, which is so cute. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So literally you stamp it and it's a star. I mean, I stamped it kind of crappy, <laughs> but if you stamp it like more, more carefully, you don't get the little mark. It's so cute. You literally can just, you know, pretend you have face tattoos for a day. See how it works out for you. Or if you're going to a festival or if this is just your vibe to be like a unique, colorful, creative uh, makeup person. These are the products for you. They're really, really nice. I love them so much. Then I have the Stila uh, Electric Blue Eyeliner. Um, this is in the shade Bora Bora. This is so unique. Um, I have been, I have yet to really find a liquid eyeliner that kind of like does what this does. It's super vibrant. It's super vibrant. It's super opaque. I love this. Every time I wear this, literally everyone compliments me and it's like, oh my God, what eyeliner are you wearing? Um, the only thing I'll say, I don't think they sell this anymore and then the packaging is kind of pretty bad. Like if you twist it too much, it will break. Um, this one is another ColourPop one, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, this guy, I'm gonna get rid of. This is like a really old MAC eyeliner. It wasn't really that good, so that has to go. Then I have this like L'Oreal uh, eyeliner. It's just kind of old. I'm just gonna let it go. It was good when it worked. It's just very old. Um, oops, this one's a lip liner. This one's ColourPop 2. Uh, this is a magnetic eyeliner from BoxyCharm. So this one, I haven't really actually used this yet, so I am going to keep it for now. These two are from e.l.f. Uh, they're not really that great. I mean, the thing is they're so old and I kind of don't remember how they worked when they were really good. I honestly didn't show them that much attention. So this one is going to go. Same thing with this guy. This is another um, e.l.f. one. Then I have the Rare Beauty eyeliner. I honestly have not used this since I did the video with like, you know, everything of the products. I just love that it looks like a pen. Like, I don't know, I just find that very pleasing. It was okay when I tried it, but I definitely have to use it more. So I'm gonna hold on to it for that. And then I have one of my absolute favorite eyeliners for many years now. This is the Maybelline Stiletto Eyeliner and it's kind of like a like a felt tip type brush. Um, you can get a lot of precision with this. It goes on very black. 
Uh, it's easy to take off, so you're not gonna be there like scrubbing forever and getting wrinkles. And then also too, it just doesn't smudge. Like it stays put exactly where it's supposed to be. I love it for that. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I highly recommend this to literally everyone. Then I have another two eyeliners right here. Um, I think this one was from Black Radiance. It's really old, so this one's just going to go. Um, then I have the Revlon Color Stay. Uh, this one's also really old, too, so I'm just going to kind of let this one go. This one is like ancient. This is the, the Maybelline Ultra Liner. Um, I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I'm definitely going to get rid of this, but I never really liked it. It would chunk off in flakes, and it literally like drove me nuts. Then I have two Sephora eyeliners. This one's really old, so this one's gonna go. This one's more new. Honestly, Sephora brand is actually really good. Like, both of these eyeliners are really good. So this one's like, just, it's ancient. Um, but the one thing I will say about Sephora collection is that it is made in the same like warehouse as all the other brands. It just saves money on packaging. So the products are actually really, really good. So this one I'm gonna keep, and this one I'm gonna let go. Um, I'm just gonna kind of pick out real quick the ones that I'm gonna let go instead of keeping going one by one. So these guys are going to get So these guys, I'm for sure going to get rid of them, mostly because of the fact that they're just very old. Some of them didn't work for me, like the Sephora collection was just too smudgy. Uh, the All May just didn't really do anything. But the others are not bad, they're just a little bit too old and I don't feel comfortable putting them on my eyes anymore. As for the other ones, uh, these two NYX eyeliners are really awesome, super pigmented. I highly recommend, beside ColourPop and Urban Decay, these are the eyeliners, the way to go, so good. Uh, this, I don't remember what brand this was, but I'm gonna keep it, I remember liking it. Then I have the Kat Von D, you can't tell anymore, but this is the, the very the tattoo liner that's super uh, famous. It is really good, I'm just trying to use it up, it's almost completely done. Then I have two Bobbi Brown ones. Uh, one's black, one's like iridescent. I'm gonna keep both of these guys. I have a NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil, awesome base. And another L'Oreal pencil, really good. Another Sephora pencil. And last but not least, this is my absolute favorite eyeliner. This is the Hyper Easy uh, Liquid Eyeliner. This is from Maybelline. Guys, if you've never tried this, get it. It's so easy uh, and it has such a precise like line right there, it's so worth it, get it, it's amazing. Now we're going into mascaras. So I definitely have a smaller category for this. Um, each category going forward now will be like a little bit smaller. Um, I usually don't buy too many mascaras at one time. So let's start first with the little mini. So I got a Too Faced uh, Damn Girl mascara. I, no offense Too Faced, love you, but I hate this mascara like with a passion. It literally smudges like no tomorrow and I look like raccoon eyes and it just, it really, it, it has nice volume, but the smudging factor is just so bad. Like I, I can't like <laughs> look over it. Um, then I have the NARS Climax can, uh, mascara. I wanted to love this so much. So many people love this. It does make your lashes look really beautiful, but again, like it smudges on me like no tomorrow and that just makes me really sad. So this one I'm gonna let go as well. Then I have the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. This is the primer for the lashes. This one's really good, but the Dior Show one is way, way better. Like. A million times better but this one is a good alternative if you do want something cheaper then we have the same thing with uh, the Lancome this is the Sills booster I haven't got to try this yet because I'm trying to use it the Lancome one but I'm really excited to use it so I'm gonna hold on to that then I have the Too Faced uh, better than sex mascara this is the waterproof version uh, the thing with this mascara, I do love it. It's great on the first day that you use it, um, but I do feel it's like really hard. I mean, I know it's waterproof, duh, but it is very hard to remove from your lashes, and I feel like the second and third day that you wear it, if you keep wearing it in a row, 
first of all, you're never really fully gonna get it off your lashes, and then your lashes are just gonna look clumpier and clumpier and clumpier. Um, I'm gonna keep it just because I do like it. For every now and then, like that first day look, it looks gorgeous, and it's a great mascara. I much prefer this over uh, Damn Girl. Then I have the YSL, the Shock. This is a really awesome mascara, definitely lengthening and volumizing, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Then I have uh, the Lancome Hypnose Mascara, a little tiny one. I haven't really got to play around with this yet, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Then I have the big old Dior Show. I love this mascara. This has been my favorite mascara since I've been in eighth grade. I just think it's such a good mascara. The only thing that has ever outdone it was the Charlotte Tilbury Volume 2 Legendary Lashes. You know, try that one out. I've used that up, so I don't have it with me today. But this is a really amazing mascara. It has like a super, a uh, big wand, which is really, really nice. It gives you lots of volume. It's just a classic. It's, you know, it's, it's Dior, okay? Then we have the Anastasia mascara. I only use this once or twice, so I don't have much of an opinion. I need to use it more, because I kind of forgot, and I kind of forgot I had it. <laughs> so good thing I'm doing this video, I'm remembering. Um, then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes, but this is the blue one. This is just like a really cool look. You want like blue mascara, you want to just, have your eyes stand out for the day. This is just a really cool, like, badass mascara. I love it, and I think it's great to get those colored ones, but at a discounted rate. Then I have another Dior show. This is a different one. Um, this is the Pump and Volume HD. Um, I like this, I just don't really remember why. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I have the Lancome uh, Monsieur Big. It's a really good mascara, awesome mascara. And last but not least, I have the Pat McGrath um, Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is a really good mascara. What makes me really sad about it is it smudges a lot on me, but it doesn't smudge right away. It smudges as the day goes on, but still, like it just makes my lashes look so beautiful that I'm going to keep it just for that fact. It just makes them look so beautiful. Okay, now on to my glitters. So some of them are loose, some of them are shadows. These are kind of like where I go where I need to have glitter. So the first two are these amazing MAC glitters. Uh, one is, what is it? It's Reflex Gold. Reflex Gold and 3D Glitter. These are both so gorgeous. I love MAC glitters. They're literally like the best. I love them so much. Just the only thing is that you are gonna need a glitter glue. It is a little bit more messy, but it just gives such a gorgeous look to the eye. So yeah, you can't pry these from me. Not gonna happen. Then I have the Huda Beauty uh, Matte and Metal, and this is in the shade, I think Silk Bomber and bubblegum. Yeah, this is uh, really good. I love it. It does crease. It does tend to crack. So it's not like the most like bulletproof product, but I think it does give a really pretty look. And this like shimmery side is so pretty. Then I have, you know, my babies right here. Um, I'm missing one right now. I don't know where I, where I put it actually. Um, I'm actually missing one. Oh no, this is kind of concerning me. I don't know where I put it. But um, I have Distortion and I have, uh, I have Studio and Distortion. I also have Pyro. I just honestly don't know where I placed it right now. These are absolutely amazing. These are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliners. I love these so much with like an undying passion. Like it makes glitter so easy and I think it looks so good as like an inner corner pop on the eye. It's just so gorgeous. I recommend this to anyone. Um, you can do it for the inner corner. You can do eyeliner. Like you could do so much with this. This one is my baby. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's a liquid um, like glitter eyeshadow. It's so beautiful and it is in the shade Sweet Life. Um, this is such a great way to look like you made a lot of effort. It, like let's say, you know, like when I was having like a lot of gigs all the time, I would always put this on with some bronzer in my crease and you know, some <laughs> liquid eyeliner and lashes and it looks like you tried way more harder than you did. It's a great, great product. This is something that's very similar to it. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Um, like same deal, same deal. It's a liquid, uh, glitter liquid eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. Like man, like it's so pigmented. Um, honestly, you can get the CoverGirl one instead. You don't have to get the Tarte one, even though the Tarte is just like as beautiful, if not, you know, like in its own type of way. But they're both basically kind of the same product. If you want to do spend less, they're both really beautiful though. Then I have a LA Splash Loose Glitter. I love this, one of my favorites. The LA Splash like Glitter Glue used to literally be my favorite from back in the day. So anyways, uh, now uh, I have, this is, 
what was it? This is the Touch and Soul uh, glitter eyeshadow. This is really cool. <laughs> Honestly, like when you swatch it, it's just so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. That's like absolutely amazing. Um, it's a really cool another way like glitter eyeshadow. It really does have a lot of concentrated glitter in it, but it's really, really nice. So I'm going to hold on to it. Honestly, none of these glitters I'm getting rid of. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's just they're so good. Then I have this hourglass one, which is just another beautiful, like pink shimmery one. And I got this from BoxyCharm. I just have gotten like a snack, or if you're still here with me, just know that I love you and you got a special place in my heart. But this is gonna be the last category for today because I already could tell this video is getting super long. I still haven't went over my eye primers and my uh, eyebrow stuff, but if you would like to see that in a future video, definitely let me know. I think I just gotta stop at these single eyeshadows for now. So these are my single eyeshadows. Um, my absolute favorite right here. These are my babies. I told you, me and Makeup Forever, like, we go way back and we're probably gonna get married and just live together forever. Um, these are my absolute favorite eyeshadows, absolute favorite ones. They're so pigmented, like it's insane. Like, I mean, look at this purple. Like, I know purple is supposed to be like notoriously hard to make for makeup companies, but I don't know, Makeup Forever did it absolutely perfect. They don't even sell these guys anymore. Um, especially in these cases. I don't know if they sell the same colors. They probably do, but I love these so much. If you can ever get these in newer packaging, this is 92 and this is 75. They're so, so good. Such great pigmented matte colors. Um, this one's also really good too. Um, I just don't like that it didn't come in a, like a package. Um, this is like a fiery, like orangey one. It's another really pretty color, super awesome. So I'm definitely gonna keep these. Um, all these, uh, but the rest of them, honestly, I'm going to let them go. Just because they are getting really old, they're getting to that point where I've had them for a very long time and I hardly use them. So this is a really old MAC one. This is from like a holiday collection. This is Shimmer Mint. I'm gonna let this one go. These are some e.l.f. guys. You know, they're just ancient. Time to go. This is from a brand, I don't even know if it exists anymore. Um, these two are from Urban Decay. I have the palette, so it's just really no point of keeping these singles, and they're super old. Um, this is from like Hot Topic. Do you guys remember this? <laughs> so old. And then this is a uh, really old Bare Minerals. So yeah, guys, that was everything for uh, my, basically my eye drawer, my eye makeup drawer, which had my eyeliners, my mascaras, my concealers, and my single eyeshadows and glitter. So that was everything that I decluttered for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give me a like and subscribe so you can see my future content coming to you very soon. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys.